Hello from Seoul? Let me guess, you had an amazing Korean barbecue at home. The party was great and everybody was happy. And six months later, BAM! This Samjang is waiting for its expiration date in the back of your fridge. But for now, don't worry about it. I'm gonna show you three ways to enjoy your Samjang. Korean dipping sauce. Alright, let's get started. Have you ever had Samjang fried rice at Korean barbecue restaurants? No? Never? Really? Then you've been missing out one of the biggest happiness in your life. But don't worry about it. As always, I'm here for you guys. For this, you will need a bowl of rice, green onion, perilla leaf, not the one from random trees, and some pork. I'm using pork belly, but you could also use beef or chicken. No problem at all, but I recommend some fatty parts because that makes your fried rice more flavorful. First, let's chop some green onions. You can cut these any way you like, but it's better to cut them into small pieces. Normally, this fried rice is supposed to be made with some side dishes on your table or leftover veggies, which means you can use almost to everything in your fridge. So get creative and surprise me. Next, perilla leaf. Depending on the size, grab two or three and chop them into small pieces, like pretty fine. Some of you might worry that you can't get this perilla leaf, but don't worry about it. I'm using this as a garnish, which means it's not necessary. But if you can't get this, please give it a try. It'll be so refreshing. All right, take out a wok or pan and place it over medium heat. Once the pan gets nice and hot, add in the pork. When it turns nice golden brown, cut it into bite-sized pieces, but make sure it's not Claire's bite-sized pieces pieces. Otherwise, you're not gonna be pretty when you have a bite. Now, add some green onions and stir it a few times. And then add 1 teaspoon of soy sauce and stir it for about 1 minute. Once they start to get fragrant, add a bowl of rice, 2 tablespoons of samjang, and mix it all together. So simple, right? Couldn't be any easier. Once the rice is well mixed, drizzle 1 teaspoon of sesame oil and give it a good stir. And then transfer it to a serving plate and garnish the top with some perilla leaves. If you can't get this, but still want some veggies? Try it with some lettuce or salad mix. Still gonna be good. Alright, it's done. Let's call our taste tester. Claire? It smells divine. The fragrance from perilla leaf and pork belly? Oh my gosh. Can't wait to try it. I'm gonna mix it. Mm. I'm gonna make a good bite. Mm. Ready? Mmm, 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 this time, let's try some noodles. It's Samjang Bibim Guksu. If you're planning to have Korean barbecue at home, please give it a shot. I'm pretty sure your family or friends will think you're a master of Korean barbecue. You will need onion, cucumber, chili pepper, and some noodles. Again, you can use any kind of crunch vegetables, so just use what you have in your fridge. That's the best. First, finely chop half of an onion. Since it goes into the sauce, I want you to cut this pretty fine, like this. You have a day tonight so you worry about onion breath don't worry about it just soak them in cold water for about five minutes but if you had it too much so you didn't get a call back after the date i'm not responsible now let's prep other vegetables first chop some chili peppers into small pieces next slice some cucumber into thin strips since it gives us amazing crunch i strongly recommend using cucumber for this recipe this time let's make the sauce in a mixing bowl to finely chop the onions four tablespoons of samjang, a half tablespoon of soy sauce, two tablespoons of vinegar, one tablespoon of Korean chili pepper flakes, one tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of corn syrup, one tablespoon of sesame oil, one tablespoon of toasted ground sesame seeds, and give it a good mix. Now let's boil some water here. Today I'm using Korean wheat noodles, which
which is called soumyeon. But if it's hard to get this, you can also use Japanese soumyeon noodles. Or even ramen noodles can be a good substitute. For two portions, I'm gonna put 200 grams of noodles in boiling water and cook for about 3 to 4 minutes. After that, rinse them with cold water. If you can use ice water, you'll be even better because it makes the noodles more chewy in a good way. Here, you need to get rid of starch on the noodles. How? Just do the laundry. Some of you might say, Aaron, is that okay? Are you sure you're not cutting off the noodles? Trust me, that will never happen. And if it happens, I'm 100% sure you're hiding your secret identity, Hulk. Now, play Place the drained noodles in a mixing bowl and place the sauce we made. You can mix with your chopsticks or a fork, but I recommend using your hands because this is the vibe. When it's done, transfer it to a serving bowl and garnish the top with some cucumbers. Here, you could finish it with some veggies and boiled egg. But I told you, this is so good with Korean barbecue. So let's grill some chadurbagi, thinly sliced beef brisket. But if beef is not your thing, you can go for pork or chicken. Everything will turn out fantastic. Now, remove it from the pan and place it nicely on the cucumbers. And finish it off with some chili peppers. How does it look? It looks stunning, right? Alright, let's see how it tastes. Claire? You know what? Here in Korea, it's extremely hot right now. So I really need this. Oh my gosh, look at the topping. So many layers. This is the visual. Let's dig in! Ready? Mmm! 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 Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I made it in a pot and made it in a pot and made it in a pot. It's so good. 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 차돌박이 진짜 신의 한 수다. 뭔가 너무 잘 어울리는데 이 궁합이 한번 더. I need one more. 음, 음, 음. 너무 맛있어. 일단 소스가 너무 맛있는 것 같아. 약간 새콤하고 또 조금 달콤하고 또 조금 매콤하고 진짜 가 갖출 건 지금 이제 다 갖췄어. 먼저 내 스타일이다. 취향 저격. 이건 진짜 프리젠테이션도 그렇고 맛도 그렇고 진짜 팔아도 될 만한 수준인 것 같아. One of the best. 마음에 들어. I strongly recommend this. You should give it a try. This time, let's make samjang bulgogi. Normally, bulgogi is marinated with soy sauce, but since today's video is all about samjang, let's make it with samjang. You will need pork, onion, green onion, perilla leaf, and chili pepper. Since it doesn't need many ingredients, you already like it, right? First, let's prep some vegetables. Slice half of an onion into thin strips and set it aside. And then roughly chop some green onion. As always, more green onion, more delicious, so be super generous with this. Next, perilla leaf. Just like the first one, we want this pretty fine. Lastly, chop some chili peppers into small pieces. This time, let's make the marinade. In a mixing bowl, put 4 tablespoons of samjang, 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce, a half tablespoon of sugar, 2 tablespoons of corn syrup, 2 tablespoons of mirin, 1 tablespoon of minced garlic, a few shakes of black pepper, and give it a good mix. And then over your pork, add the onions, green onions, marinate, and give it a good massage. I'm using pork shoulder, but if pork is not your thing, then try with chicken thighs. It will work beautifully in this recipe. Alright, let's put a lid on and give them some privacy in the fridge for about 10 minutes. When time's up, put some oil in a pan and place it over medium heat. Once the pan is nice and hot, add in the pork. Are you worried if it's gonna burn because of samjang? Don't worry about it. All the moisture from onions and green onions will save your pork. Alright, the pork is just about done. Let's start plating. If if you have a cast iron pan, take it out and place it over medium heat. And then add some oil and wipe off the excess. Once you can feel the heat from the pan, add a lot of mung bean sprouts. You know what? I'm using this because I happen to have this in my fridge. So if you don't like mung bean sprouts, I strongly recommend sliced onions. In some ways, that might be better. Now place all the pork on top of the mung bean sprouts. Looks great already, right? But this is not the end. Keep adding perilla leaves and finish it off with some chili peppers. That's that's it. Since the cast iron pan keeps the heat really well, you can enjoy your dish nice and hot until the end. Alright, let's go to our taste tester. Claire? Mmm, I've never tried a marinade in a marinade. It's interesting. What is it? Today, I've used a green onion for the green onion. If you eat it together, it's the same thing. Let me try. Mmm. 
쌈장으로 메리네드 했는지 전혀 모르겠다. 뭔가 되게 자연스러운데? 간장으로 한것 같은 느낌도 있고 된장으로 한것 같은 느낌도 있고 오묘하게 그냥 잘 어울리는데? 이번엔 숙주랑 More Bites! 음, 음, 음. 아삭아삭 너무 맛있다. 음. 근데 여기다가 밥 넣고 참기름 넣고 볶으면 다시 일본 프라이드 라이스 되는 거 아니야? 코리안 바베큐의 마무리는 무조건 탄수화물이지. 볶아라! <웃음> Today I showed you three ways to injure samjang, Korean dipping sauce. If your samjang has been sitting in the back of your fridge for ages, it's time to take it out. With these recipes, the expiration date is not gonna be a problem. Alright, this is it for today, and I'll see you next time.